Hey guys, today we are going to look at a very important concept in Angular called data down, actions up. It's not an Angular concept, it's just a concept that is used by pretty much any component-based uh, framework. So what is a data down, action up really means? When you have a hierarchy of components, a higher level component needs to uh, communicate with lower level component and vice versa. So the way it works is higher level components would pass data down via property and lower level components would pass the action up using the event emitters. That's why the name comes from data down action up. So we are going to build something like this. Uh, again, we are using the similar example we did in the last tutorial. If you haven't been following uh, this tutorial series, you can do so. I'll provide a link here. But basically, we have a component, outer component. Inside, we have another component. So you can see the border. And inside that, we have three components. And from the outer, we have data. Remember, data is usually at the high level component you know, your model or whatever. It's not available to the buttons or things like that. You have to pass it from the top, hence the data down uh, using properties. But let's say if I click on this button here, one of these buttons here, it needs to do something on the top with the data or something. So it has to send the action up. So basically sending like instruction to do something and then the, the top level will do, do that. So that's what's called action. So let's build a project to do that. All right, so I already have built uh, this project, which is empty at this moment and named the project is ng4 data down action up and I will upload this project uh, the get my github I can add our first container either the one I showed you the outer one so on one side I would just run the project so I can say ng serve dash dash open and that should compile the project and open it into localhost okay as you can see there's nothing going on here it's empty it's opens on our localhost 4200 now from the other console I can say ng g means generate c means component and i can create that main container when i do that it will create a folder called main container and it would create the four things inside css html its test and its ts file and it will also update the app module for us it has added this main container and it has imported the module app module and it has also have a declaration so that will i'm interested in what is the tag name so it gives a tag name called app main container so what i'll do i'll copy this tag name and inside the main component.html i can use this tag so i can inject my component inside here and once i do that it should automatically compile because the server is running so let me quickly do this so I created a one div and inside and inside I have a span which will say main container and I'll have some CSS. So the CSS is basically have some border and some padding. I will have the main container and have a border. Now I am going to create that object uh, which is an array that I told you about uh, this array data. So that will be created inside the main container dot component dot TS and it will be simply names if I want to display it, I would simply go into the main container dot HTML and I can say div, I can say data, and I can interpolate the names. What it will do, it will try to convert it to a string. Even though it's an array, I will convert it into a string. I would see this. So I would I know that what data I'm passing, just to see. All right, so now we need to pass this array into a lower level component. Uh, so I'm gonna create another component call outer so I'm gonna go back to my command line I would just say ng g c outer and I can say outer is already created I can simply use outer here I need to know what the tag is so if I go back to the outer.ts the tag is app outer put it in here let's see what happens all right so it added the outer so we also add the style quickly to the outer so we're going to remove the 
the default stuff and say div and inside which will say outer inside the CSS I can have uh, some border and some padding so it looks presentable if I go back to my console I have an outer ready now I need to pass this data into the outer so you can you can pass data via property so if I look at if I go into my main container I have this outer tag so I can pass into the outer the names array and the way you would do it is name so you would in a square bracket you would name you would put the variable that will be used inside uh, and then here as a string it's not really a string but here I'm going to use the same name so we can consistently look at it but you can actually change the name here you can say XYZ doesn't matter so inside the app outer it will be XYZ this array and in inside the main container it would be names but I want to keep it consistent so now let's look at outer so inside the outer I can simply say div and names when I save it wow it did not pass and the reason is this inside the outer I still need to do something just by passing the property it doesn't automatically takes it I really need to create something else so I would have to say here um, input here I have to have an input decorator and that should really work so if I save this now it actually passed this array inside from main container to outer all right now let's create an inner component which would be inside the outer component ng g c inner and it would do the same thing it created an inner component now let's look at the tag for inner component so the selector is app inner so i can first simply copy i have a habit of just doing it so that at least i know everything works before i modify it right so inside the outer and if i copy and paste multiple times i would see inner here which it works so which is great inner's default so what we want is again uh, squares All right, so let's create this inner monster and so we have this here and i can have a span with class name and inside i can say i can say name for now and i would also need a button because remember there is a button here so the button would be button would say send to outer and if i look at it it has uh, three things but it's still hard coded inside my outer component here this time we don't want to pass the array from outer to inner but we want to pass is each name into each we're going to th create three components inside and we're going to pass each name because the array has three names right so in order to do that we just need this one and we can call it we can say ng4 let name of names what it would do is for each name that will create an, a variable call name and the names is basically nothing but that array of names which I can directly pass into here again remember the passing of information or data would be because I have this name here so I can say equal to so for each of the item in the array it would create it will re repeat itself and create this but app inner doesn't have this property called name so if I look at the inner I would need to create that property here here say input remember if you are receiving from inside of a component you would have to have an inner decorator if you don't know what decorators are I have a tutorial I'll provide a link here I would say input uh, name and its type string and we also in the inner component we need to instead of name we need to use that variable that we just pass name all right so it's coming here John Judy and Peter what I can do is I need to style it so it looks proper all right so I give this so it looks presentable now so we completed this data down part where we sending array from the main container to the outer container and then from the outer component to inside each of these um, as a, in each element now what I want to do is when I click on this button send to outer 
it should send this information out to the outer and then to the main component container. So it would, if I have a label here, um, like from inner, it should say John when I click here, it should say Judy when I click here, and it should say Peter when I click here. So how do you do that? So we need to start from the inside this component here, which is inner. We need to create a click here. And the syntax is simple, click equal to, and we name the function that will execute. We don't have the function yet, we can say send to outer. We need to build this function inside the inner component. So we come back here and here we create this function called send to outer. Uh, console log clicked. So let's see if it works. If I click here, it says click. If I click here, it says click. If I say click here, it sends a click. So it works. Now we need to create an event emitter. So for that, I would use uh, from Angular Core, you can borrow event emitter. Here, you need to create an output. So when you're receiving property, you use input. And when you're sending action out, you need to create an output. So you would say output. We need to create, we need to borrow it from here. So you need to import output here. It calls, uh, we're going to name this event emitter. So I can call it event from inner because it's coming from inner. So we're going to call this and equal to new event emitter and it's type string. So inside the inner component, we have now um, event ev emitter now we need to when we click on the button we need to execute this event emitter so instead of click here we can say this dot event from inner dot we can say emit and when it emits it it would send some information from uh, from the inner component and what would it send so it would send the name because remember when I click on here I want the name to go out. So all I have to say is this dot name because that's what the name here, right? But there's something else is missing also. Just like when you pass a property from outside, we still need to pass an event emitter when it's going out. So a little bit more work. So in the outer component.html, because it's an action, it's like this equal to um, event from inner and inside you would have the event itself and this is the the element that we passed the name so now the the outer has this event from inner now the outer has to implement this when you click from inside when I click from here uh, it just sends an event back but the event is get executed in outer. So in the outer dot ts, we need to exit. We need to have that event. So we can say event from inner, and you would have some variable past, which is a string. Well, it should be this dot name equal. And I need to also create that name here because inside the because inside the outer we just have the array we don't have the name so we need to create one here yes. string type equal to just an empty string for now and also outer need to have it somewhere here name which means this has been selected in from the inner so now if i click on here as you can see it's changing if i click on judy but now we still need to pass it over here into the main component of the grandfather and we, we should do the same thing so from the outer component we can also create an output and an event emitter here so first we do output and event emitter the event I'm just gonna create a new event emitter which is from outer not from inner 
event from outer, which is a new event emitter type string. And what, what happens when this event for inner executes? So when I basically click, the click um, executes that event from inner. And I want to, right after that, I want to execute this event from outer. So this would be this dot event from outer dot emit. And what is going to emit this dot name. And the main container event from outer equal to event from outer and inside you would have the dollar inside the main container TS I would have to execute it remember so when you send it for uh, an action from inner component to outer the outer component has a responsibility to execute it so we created inside the outer component now the main container has a responsibility to execute it so main container would say event from outer and it would have a similarly passed which is a string and it would say this dot name equal to passed and now we can have in the main container we can have a div that has name in it so we can say selected and name ah, we also need to create that variable inside the name here because we have names but we don't have names so we have to say name equal to an empty one otherwise it won't work all right so now if i click here it passes here and here here and here so it works so this is how you do data down action up and the example we learned today i'm going to push it onto git and I'll, I'll put the url into in the description so you can copy it and download the example and work with it and i hope you have learned something from this tutorial and if you did please like subscribe and provide a constructive comment